This is part 35 of Bootstrap tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the Bootstrap Jumbotron component. This component is used to showcase the key content on your website. Creating Jumbotron is fairly straightforward. All we need to do is create a div element with class Jumbotron. We can then place any valid HTML within the Jumbotron. A Jumbotron is displayed as a gray box with rounded corners. Let's see how to create a Jumbotron that looks like this. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So within this container, we're going to create a div element with class Jumbotron. Let's save our changes. And when we reload this page, notice we get a gray box with rounded corners. Within this Jumbotron, we can place any valid HTML that we want. Now within our Jumbotron, we want a heading which says Bootstrap Tutorial. So inside this div element with this class Jumbotron, let's include an H1 element and the heading is going to be Bootstrap Tutorial. And then we want a paragraph about Bootstrap. So let's include a paragraph element. And then finally, we want a button. I'm going to place this button in another paragraph element. So first, let's include a paragraph element. And then to create the button, I'm going to use the anchor element and set its class to BTN. We want a large button, so I'm also going to use BTN large class. And let's also use BTN primary contextual state class. And I'm going to point the href attribute of this button to our YouTube channel, which is http colon for slash for slash youtube.com forward slash kudvanked and the text on the button is going to say get started let's save our changes and when we reload our page notice we get the jimbotron that we have seen on the slide at the moment this jimbotron is present inside a container and that's the reason why it does not span across the entire width of the page if you want this Jumbotron to span across the entire width of the page, then place this Jumbotron outside the container. Let's do that. So I'm going to cut this div element that has this class Jumbotron and place it outside the container. Let's save our changes. And when we reload our page, notice the Jumbotron spans across the entire width of the page. Finally, let's see how to change the default background color of the Jimbotron. I'm going to right click on the Jimbotron and select inspect from the context menu. Notice the CSS class that is applied is Jimbotron and the default background color is this. First, let's find this Jimbotron class within our bootstrap.css. Let's make a copy of this class within our custom style sheet. We only want to change the background color style. So let's delete the rest of the styles and let's change this background color to E3, E3, 3D. Let's save our changes and when we reload our page, notice the background color changes. Thank you for listening and have a great day.